In this month's Eye on Cancer, WSBT's Bob Montgomery reports, while there's no such thing as a routine cancer, some are much more difficult to treat and survive than others. And that's where a local cancer center says its innovation is helping more people not only survive cancer, but live life during and afterward. Barbara Shepard's life started to shift dramatically in the middle of 2011. When I yawned very deeply, I just had a pain in my upper diaphragm. So she did what many people do. Go to the doctor, tell them what's happening, but then nothing happened for a while. Fast forward to January 2012, I had a sinus infection. So I go to my family doctor and ask kind of like, by the way, this pain is still here. So the test is ordered and Brenda has cancer of the appendix, which is typically considered a very rare and complex cancer. So being a Hoosier, Brenda goes to Indianapolis for a very big surgery, only to have a long recuperation and to see the cancer return early this year. That's when she turned to the IU Health Goshen Center for Cancer Care. This time around, we just wanted the holistic approach. Um, you know, meeting with a counselor here, dietitian, naturopath, we just like that whole person approach. Brenda then met with the man who would do this second surgery, Dr. Len Henry, who's a surgical oncologist who says her approach the second time was absolutely the right approach. He says he lives by the motto of it's always better to do the right thing at the right time than the wrong thing right away. The single most important thing in the total care of a cancer patient is their operation that it done in the right way. Um, and in a multidisciplinary fashion. IU Health Goshen Center for Cancer Care is the first in this region to use a very complex surgery called the HIPEC for the trickiest cancers where this approach has proven successful. The idea behind stripping out the tumors and placing the chemotherapy directly on them serves a couple of purposes. One, it puts the chemotherapy exactly where the tumors are and also it limits the, the toxicity because the absorption of the chemotherapy is lower than if you put it right in the vein. While Dr. Henry stresses this approach is only successful for very certain complex cancers, the success rate is stark compared to other approaches. This HIPEC approach has a survival rate of 80% at five years, while conventional chemo has a survival rate of one to two years for only half of the patients. While HIPEC is certainly not available for every cancer patient, Brenda says anyone facing this life-altering decision should really be informed and be prepared to say no to doctors who aren't giving you the approach you want. Definitely, you know, get opinions, get um, many opinions if you can, um, but don't, don't be afraid to take care of it. Shepard says it's also important to her that her surgeon is a cancer surgeon, not just a general surgeon who performs cancer work. Bob Montgomery, WSBT Channel 22 News.